Will Toyota ultimately give in and accept that it should join the EV revolution rather than pursue its own course? It appears more and more like it is happening as time goes on. Compared to the time Akio Toyota was CEO, the Japanese corporation now appears to be more focused on the electric model. Recent reports on the production of a future electric Toyota GR Sports have been positive. With the revelation of $850 million in government subsidies from Japan, the well-known automaker is now prepared to go to the next stage. Toyota states that it would utilize the funds to develop its bipolar lithium iron phosphate battery, a variant of lithium-ion technology that, when it eventually hits the market in 2027, is anticipated to increase range by 20%. Bipolar batteries are lithium-ion batteries made up of stacked, serially coupled electrodes. These electrodes are bipolar in contrast to traditional lithium-ion batteries. In other words, a common electrode carrier is used to hold both the active components for the battery's anode and cathode. The bipolar electrode, a metallic foil that is covered on both sides with ceramic storage materials, is the most crucial component of the battery. The anode is formed on one side, and the cathode on the other. It serves as the battery's power source and stores energy. The main benefit of bipolar batteries is their tiny size, which saves more than half of the space because fasteners and housing components are removed. This indicates that, within the direct connection of the battery's cells in the stack, current flows over the whole surface of the battery. As a result, the electrical resistance is significantly decreased. Bipolar all-solid-state lithium-ion batteries LIBs have drawn a lot of interest as a potentially effective way to meet the rising demand for high energy and safety. A portion of that sum will also be added to the development of solid-state batteries. Toyota has been in the forefront of solid-state battery development for more than 10 years, and by 2025, it plans to use them in a hybrid vehicle. Likewise, by 2030, the business wants to push solid-state batteries into widespread usage. The situation now becomes more challenging. Toyota's EV production will only make up 12% of its total output in 2030, not moving in a clear-cut forward direction like Volvo, Volkswagen, and General Motors, who all want to completely electrify their fleets in the future. The Asian car maker is still holding on to hydrogen cars, despite the fact that most of the industry has already abandoned them, which further complicates its complicated path. The solid-state battery revolution was first introduced by Toyota in 2012. On solid batteries, the corporation has continued to work for the past 11 years, with fresh advancements occasionally disclosed. The company had previously stated that it will display a production prototype by 2021 after introducing the first electric vehicle in the world to use solid-state batteries in 2020, but it never happened. Many people are unsure whether we'll ever see the hailed technology in a commercial setting due to the drawn-out process. The business promises us, however, that through collaboration with Panasonic, which also happens to be Tesla's battery supplier, its customers will soon have access to a hybrid car with solid-state batteries by 2025. With its recent announcement of a new development, Toyota made the dangling carrot even more enticing. The most recent achievement in Toyota's solid-state battery technology is anticipated to boost range by 20% and has the ability to provide a rapid charge in 10 minutes. Currently, Toyota's BZ4X, which can travel to 52 miles on a single charge according to EPA ratings, is the only fully electric vehicle Toyota offers. The SUV's ability to go for 58 miles CLTC may therefore be aided by the increase. With the goal of reaching mass production by 2027 to 2028, Toyota believes that the development process has already been accelerated. The Japanese manufacturer also states that it has been working on a performance-oriented solid battery technology that seeks to increase cruising range by 50%, resulting in a range of more than 900 miles on a single charge. Tesla deserves credit for a variety of things, including laying the groundwork for the EV revolution, popularizing electric vehicles, and bringing the Giga strategy to mainstream automakers. Tesla's cutting-edge method involves using enormous casting machines, known as Giga presses, to decrease the number of pieces required to make a car, thereby accelerating the manufacturing process. This method is reminiscent of how the Carthaginians, in antiquity, revolutionized ship-making with their ground-breaking method. Since then, Toyota has adopted this strategy and now intends to simplify the body structure of its vehicles in order to meet its electrification objectives.
By 2026, the business promises to roll out 10 additional BEVs, and by 2025, it hopes to have a Georgetown, Kentucky factory producing an all-electric three-row SUV. The facility, which is Toyota's largest complex, has a production capacity of 550,000 automobiles annually. In order to support large-scale battery production, a battery plant in North Carolina is also now being built and strengthened with $3.8 billion in funding. The project, which has the support and financial backing of the Japanese government, which is also seeking for self-sufficiency in that area, is a part of Toyota's efforts to liberate itself from the dominance of Chinese battery providers CADL and BYD. One qualification is that Toyota is joining the party late because the EV revolution began years ago. To make up for lost time, the automaker is working extra hard and is currently researching a new technology to strengthen its aggressive strategy, which entails cutting manufacturing costs, improving aerodynamics to reduce drag, improving solid-state battery technology, and increasing the market appeal of the EV panoply. Koji Sato, the CEO of Toyota, also spoke about a cutting-edge multi-layered strategy to maximize EV development for next models. Our new models set for sale in 2026 will be created on three new platforms, the body and chassis, the electronic platform, and the software platform. As we work to attain mobility through a new vehicle packaging with a BEV-specific rational structure, they will all be updated. However, Toyota isn't giving up on hydrogen cars just yet. In today's market, hydrogen vehicles are, to put it politely, a quite ambitious endeavor. Around 50,000 EV charging stations may be found in the US, with more than 9,000 of them located in California alone. But Toyota, which still has faith in a hydrogen future, wasn't affected by these restrictions. Using the justification that the use of synthetic fuels would make them a green alternative deserving of endorsement, former CEO Akio Toyota vigorously pressed the Japanese government to fully support hydrogen and hybrid vehicles in 2022. A hydrogen-fueled Toyota Corolla H2 concept driven by the tenacious Toyota was entered in the Fuji 24 Hours race in May 2023, but it had to be changed before the event because it caught fire during pre-season testing. In spite of the charging of the guard that occurred in April, the corporation appears to be steadfastly committed to adhering to the hydrogen model. This temerity, however, might involve some nuance, as company executives appear to be subtly redirecting their hydrogen strategy towards heavy-duty vehicles. Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, further solidified that hypothesis, as he clarified that for FCEVs, we will pursue mass production centered on commercial vehicles. And that ends today's episode. What do you think of Toyota's EV plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.